Hello and welcome to this video which is a study plan for the ICND1 chapter titled Operating Cisco Routers. This is the first chapter that talks about how to get around the command line interface for routers but it comes after the chapter that introduces uh, switch configuration of the chapters so it reviews those things and gets on to some other topics. So let's take a look. First of all if you first read through the chapters there are three big parts in the chapter and they're somewhat unre unrelated. They all fit together in the how do you operate Cisco routers topic uh, but they're a, a little bit more unrelated than typical. Uh, the first section gives you the big picture of routers. What does a router look like? Some sample pictures, the kind of interfaces they have, some terminology. Uh, but there's no detail on how to do things with the router there. So you can go a little bit quicker through that first section and focus on the big picture. Then in the second section, you review the commands in common between routers and switches from the command line interface, and then you add some new commands. Now, if you had earlier followed my suggestion to create a notebook with your own command reference, you definitely want to be ready to add these new commands that are router specific in that command reference and start making notes on which things are in common between routers and switches and which things are unique to switches and which things are unique to routers. Then in part three, if you've got real gear, real routers, get them ready. Because part three talks about some details about software upgrades in this part of a router called the configuration register. Um, this topic in particular makes a ton more sense if you do it on real gear. So if you've got a real router, great. If you've got one you can borrow from a friend from a few days, plan to do it. Read this uh, third section and then borrow that real gear and try out some of those ideas on that real gear. After you've read it the first time and you go back to do a quick chapter review, I would say from memory, before you start your review, try to list all the commands, both the commands in common with switches and the com commands you just learned reading this chapter. That's a good way to force your memory to start working a bit. Focus on that boot area, that third part, so review that closely. And whatever you're using for lab exercises, go ahead and do those that are related to this chapter. Uh, for instance, if you've got the CCNA network simulator from Pearson, uh, do the labs that are suggested in the link on my website, searchskills.com. Finally, one area that really gives people trouble sometimes is the difference between the clock rate and bandwidth commands. So when you're doing chapter review, if you're not quite clear on it, make sure you understand those. Then when you do your part review, after you finished up through chapter 15, you want to again review your command list, but hopefully by this time those commands in this particular chapter are becoming second nature. So make sure you know them and once again review the boot details just to be sure. And particularly the boot field, the last four bits of the config register, make sure you've got a good handle on that. Finally, when you get to your final review for the entire book, uh, I would say you don't have to spend a lot of time in this chapter if you've done your work up front, uh, other than if you've not had a chance to work on software upgrades, uh, whatever you can do to practice that, be it borrow a real router or do labs on some simulator, you should uh, try to spend a few minutes uh, practicing that. Anyway, everything in the chapter, of course, is fair game, but those are some ideas about where you might want to focus your time. Hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon.